Hello everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video and today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create your own beautiful realistic generic coaster station. This is what we're going to be building today and I hope you guys find this episode or this tutorial useful on how to create some better coaster stations for your coasters um, and everything like that. We're very going to be very realistic as much as possible and um, you can probably use this for um, whatever you want and uh, be sure to stick around the video to kind of get some tips and tricks on how to build a coaster station like this. And um, if you guys just want to use this blueprint, I will upload this to the Steam Workshop as well. Links down in the description below. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys. So as always, we're going to head over here to coasters. And it doesn't really matter which one we choose for this one. So um, I'm just going to choose one of my favorites, and that's usually uh, the, the RMC either the top or track or the regular and we're just gonna use the hybrid um, so again one of my favorites um, and then you want to make sure you set your station to whichever alignment you want exit exit right entry right or whatever you want to do um, for this purpose I'm gonna go ahead and raise the station up just a little bit um, just to make it a little more realistic and uh, there you have it. We have our station, uh, bear station. So um, we're not going to be focusing on making a ride here. So instead, we're going to be focusing on start building on station grid here. And this is to start our station. So um, what I like to kind of start off with is actually we'll go into the walls first. I usually like to find some sort of brick. Um, this is totally optional, but like some sort of brick texture. So I can use a brick texture, maybe the castle walls, or just pretty much anything you want, actually. Um, you can change the color of it or keep it the same. For the purpose of this, I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to change the height all the way down so I can get full um, uh, control over it. And then I'm just going to go all the way around here. Um, I'm actually going to leave the sides open, and you'll see why here in just a second. Um, so what I'm going to do is copy this the other side and before you do it on the sides um, in fact you should probably do this first I didn't think of it at first we go to flat roofs and it's a good idea to usually use smooth concrete rough concrete or uh, some sort of wooden texture if you would like and uh, start building it right underneath here and uh, build about one out this is what I usually do I build about a uh, section out all the way here and then you can change grid size. I usually like to make sure I have it right up against the edge and just kind of be careful where you place them here because I want the, uh, as you can see, right up against that as well. And I'll do it on both sides as well. Luckily, you can see right through where you're placing. Very nice feature by Planet Coaster. And then um, this is all optional, but I usually like to go in and... Um, place in like a little bit of a bottom piece as well that way there's a little bit of a pit area and it is looking quite nice so as you can see we have a little pit down there where it's just a uh, concrete and everything like that looking pretty good now we're gonna want to finish up this going all the way around this is kind of like our base we're gonna uh, go ahead and place those all the way down looking good all right that's brilliant just like that and after we have that it's time to choose kind of like a wall that we want to go up to this point point. and there's a lot of different wall options out there so just kind of yeah, you know, just kind of mess around with it, do what you want, and uh, hopefully you can find some. I like the Bavarian Wall for this one, um, just for the, the purpose of this video. This is what I want to use. I'm going to go ahead, and uh, as you can tell, I'm leaving just a little bit at the bottom uh, for that. If you use uh, a Bavarian Wall, though, just kind of uh, be aware that you're not going to be able to... Um, uh, have your uh, pieces like this um, so get creative with it like for this instance I'm gonna go ahead and use the brick just for the front section here and um, then we're going to build this up 
and I'm going to do that. Uh, we can do the exact same thing on the other side. Usually you do control D and uh, place it on the other side. You're gonna have to rotate it. And then I'm gonna use the Bavarian wall all the way around. Um, again, you can use whatever uh, pieces you want, even like mix and match, kind of like what I did here by using um, the brick for the uh, right underneath the track and the Bavarian wall for the other pieces as well. Now we're not gonna go over on creating um, uh, queue lines and uh, such uh, like that. So sometimes I like to go in and take the piece and raise it just above everything. Um, you don't have to do this if you wanna keep that texture, but sometimes I want my own textures. So I'll raise it just above the uh, platform uh, area just because I, I want to create everything kind of more custom to what I want uh, in itself. So I'm going to go back into editing this building and I want to build wall pieces all the way down here so you don't see that little bit of a gap. It's not a huge deal if you don't want to, but I, uh, I just want to, to fill up that area so we don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm gonna have to go down to grid size here to place it exactly where I need it. Just right there. And then um, it's usually a good idea to possibly do this beforehand or you can just go underneath with the flying camera and place it like so. I just gotta be a little careful here of where you place it down. Make sure you're placing it in the correct area and spot. For this instance, we just wanna make sure we're right where we wanna be. It doesn't have to be perfect and you don't even have to do this. This is just all completely optional, but if you do, do it like the time I'm doing it. Just kinda of go in there like so. All right, now we got that texture in there, and then that is all taken care of. So that's the, pretty much the bottom part for now. At this point, you're probably gonna wanna start either doing a roof, or um, if you uh, wanna do something kind of neat, for instance, um, and create a little bit of an op booth, oper uh, operator's booth, uh, which can also be fun. You can do multiple different way, ways to do this. You can use um, wall pieces and just kind of build around. Um, it just kind of based off what you want to do. We're going to go um, make sure our, our grid size is all the way down. Actually, it's not going to matter. We're going to go around here and I'm going to go about right here and uh, you can create different sizes. Now, if you want to create a little opening here, just go into the classic brick and break it down. And now we have a little opening for our operator booth so our operator can actually uh, exit the booth just from the little opening there. Um, now I kind of want to build this all the way up to at least to this section so I'm going to go and get a little creative here and maybe add a column piece or something. You just got to go in and find what you like. I tend to use these uh, thick wooden beams a lot and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to black um, because that will go good uh, be a good color to go with it just kind of again do whatever you want I'm gonna build this up and we're gonna go build it all the way around here now there's a couple different op booths that you can do you can do an open one like so and if that's the case just leave it the way it is or you can get a little bit more creative with it and uh, you can go and build uh, a, a enclosed op booth uh, where we like enclose it with some glass and stuff like that it's one of my um, one of the things I like to do sometimes uh, to make a good looking op booth and it actually turns out pretty awesome um, if you do it correctly so we're just gonna finish up our basic booth here just kind of like so there we go and that's that's looking all right and um, now what we're gonna want to do is you're probably gonna want to put a piece on top of it 
You can do a flat roof. You can do kind of whatever kind of piece that you want. And then we're going to go ahead and find our glass pieces. So I'm going to type in glass. And then we're going to find this piece. This will be the best piece for us. Put it about in the middle. You can change the color of it if you really want to. If you want to get real fancy, you don't have to. But then we're going to ro do that. Rotate this around. And place it all the way around the booth. Um, I'm going to put some corner pieces on here where uh, it connects at the corners of our booth. Um, so we'll cover that up. Just like that. And you can even add more and more features on the inside of your operator's booth if you really, really want to. But for this purpose of this video, this is going to be good for us. So let's get inside there. And then. As for the smaller section, we're going to want to select a smaller piece. This will work for what we want to do. Just like so. Make sure it goes together there. Now, I'm probably just going to use this and build these up. You can do whatever you want since it's your build, but I'm just going to build these up to um, make those corner pieces, just like so. That's, that's good. Build this down. I'm actually going to push this piece in, like so. There we go. That's a little bit better. Again, you can do this however you want. There's no limits. No limits. So, uh, there's our little bit of a booth. You can decorate it up just a little bit if you want to. Like, if I want to place um, this up here, kind of like that. Um, you can do that. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, you can even use any sort of flat piece to put in as your op booth roof. Um, and you can really do whatever you want. Um, this is just an example. So we're going to go ahead and go to our pitched roofs here, and we're going to create the roof. You always want to make the roof first before you build up. Um, that way uh, it, you can go based off of the roof that you have. We're just going to use a um, simple wood tile roof. Uh, keep it gray is fine. And we're going to want to these here and then we're gonna build them up until you about reach the middle or so okay so now I'm at to this point where it's gonna take one more piece and we want to do this you can either uh, do something like this or you can take a different pitched roof get a little crazy with it raise it up a pinch and continue it on there so for this now we're going to go ahead and copy this all the way down, like so. And now we have our roof for our station. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create um, uh, some wooden supports for our roof. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use our wooden pillars. And you don't have to use wood if you don't want to, but this is uh, most often not what you're going to use for most stations. So we're going to line it up quite nicely here with our roof. We're going to go all the way across horizontally, like so. This is the start. Just go all the way across horizontally. And then we're going to want to um, shape up the roof. You're going to have to take off angle snap for this because Usually the angles are not the same. So just line it up nice and neat. Doesn't have to be perfectly angled as long as it covers up this. Now if you want to do a quick copy to the other side, I usually do this. Click on a uh, grid piece and then delete the grid piece. It is going to puff it out just a little bit, so all you have to do is select it, press X, and push it back in just like so 
All right, now we're going to take another horizontal piece for the top piece here. Make it go across to connect with the others. Just got to line it up. And I can tell that I need to push this back just a pinch. I'll be fine. Okay. Now we're going to do um, a couple vertical pieces. So I'm going to turn angle snap back on. We're going to want to place them in the uh, these spots right here. And then we're also going to want to build up to where it connects with the top piece as well. Just like so. Now we're starting to get a really good shape for our um, uh, for this section. So then we're going to take another vertical piece and we got to say, oh, we got to use a smaller piece. Then I usually go up until it makes contact with the in between here just like so and then you can kind of create do however you want if you want to create some more create less it's really up to you I'm gonna put one more in between here just like so and then I usually just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect as long as you know it's as perfect as possible now, if you want to, this is uh, also optional. You can do the same thing up here that we did on the other sides, and let's match these up to create that uh, point at the top. Kind of like so. Just a little bit of adjustments here. There you go. And because I'm lazy, I'll do this. And then just push these in because I don't want to have to redo the angle and stuff. <clears throat> there you go. And then if you really want to, you can also add one more piece that lines up to the center here and build it down. Now, this can be your frame uh, if you want it to be. Or if you want to add a little bit more spunk to it, you can by um, maybe adding some... I don't know, angle snap here. You can add some extra support pieces like this, because um, a lot of a lot of them will have uh, different support pieces like this, just uh, extra ones. But only if you uh, really want to. You don't have to do this. This is completely optional. You can do it to like every single one, or you can do like a zigzag. Um, that goes like this uh, but for the purpose of this video I don't want to do that I just want to do my simple frame here so we're gonna just gonna stick to this simple frame and now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to copy it all the way down so um, this is the one trucky part you have to get everything selected you don't want to miss any of these pieces um, or you could lose or all the pieces that you clicked on could be lost so you just got to make sure you get everything clicked on, make sure everything gets highlighted. I try to remember every single piece that I put down. Now, most of the time, you will get, um, hopefully, a favorable, favorable um, 3D gizmo. Sometimes you're not going to like this. Like, this is absolutely nuts, and uh, hopefully they get the fix. Um, but if you do get that, you're going to have to go to World Axis. Um, luckily mine's lined up with the world already and um, if you're not lined up with the world you're gonna have to uh, move it around until you get it to the right spot I usually start by going to the other side here so we're gonna go and copy it to the other side on there and then you're gonna want to do it where you see where these lines at on your roofs you're gonna want to line it up with those next so I want to line each one up with these lines here and I'm using these little pieces as a guide where it splits the uh, roof and then we'll do that and then next you're gonna gonna want to eyeball it in between in the middle of each of those So again, this is going to take a little bit more time if the 3D gizmo is not on your side. Sometimes it will work, and sometimes it's going to mess you up. 
and have a ridiculous like um maneuver so anyways there we have it that looks good and then the last part for this frame is we're going to want to take one of the end pieces here rotate it 90 degrees and you're going to want to create a outside piece like so so you'll just build this all the way down to the end as well and you can create frames if you want to if you want to create a flat roof that is perfectly all right as well but um, this is more of a generic old style kind of coaster station so that's what we're going with so you can copy these to the other side and just like that we have a nice beautiful roof now I'm also going to go and um, go ahead and add my entrance and exits um, it's always nice to have that little bit of extra space on here and then my exit I usually put around the middle uh, or so so the next thing is uh, we're gonna want to build some more walls around here or some fencing I usually do like some sort of fencing but for here I'm gonna do a little bit extra on uh, some detailing and I like to add like some cubby uh, or bins or storage bins um, to my uh, build here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a plank piece I think they're the plank pieces or whatever so I typed in wood you could probably type in plank yeah there they are and I use these for the most part I like using these as um, I think you're gonna build them off to the side though uh, just to be safe uh, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to build this and then I'm gonna build the one that's slightly smaller rotate it vertical and these are just very basic little storage bins um, not much to them and then what we're gonna do is build one on top and then from there build a couple more so I'll put one in the middle put one up here and then down here and then we're gonna do the same thing with the vertical ones as we did with the horizontals Uh, that wasn't very centered. So we're going to center this up very nicely. And one more time, and you'll get some nice looking storage bins. Now, it's up to you if you want to create a back uh, piece or not. I usually like creating some back pieces. So what I'll do is I'll go back here and uh, make it one side. That way no guests can steal from the other side. That way it has a back piece as well. And then we have nice little cubbies here that we can use. Um, again, 3D Gizmo is going to be dumb. Now, I usually put at least maybe sometimes two of these. I'm going to line them up with the exit here. So I'll just push it back, make it look nice, make a copy of them, and have two sets here for cubbies. So now oh, you have nice storage bins. I'm done with these, so I'll go ahead and delete them. It's best to do it off to the side because you are going to have difficulties selecting them down here if you already have them in the station. Um, so it's a lot easier to select them if you have to make an adjustment or change something if it's over there. So, All right, the next step is we're going to have to build some fences around our station because we don't want guests just falling off the top. Now you can use a lot of different things. You can use the wood with the top piece, or you can build a small piece and put a top piece on there. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to leave an opening for the queue line because I don't know where the queue line is going to go yet. You can always change that later. So I just use like a piece like this. It works actually fairly fine. And then, of course, you would have an opening, a regular opening piece uh, for everything else. You can even turn out on the grid size. And you can go all the way up as far as you want to for this. Uh, so that looks pretty good right there. And now we have our... I'm actually going to put one more right here. Now we have our fencing that goes around our ride. Uh, so no guest falls off the station itself. So you'll notice that I have a little bit of fighting textures here. And there um, for some of the pieces. 
And that's quite... Per oh, it looks like I actually messed this up and didn't put these high enough. Sometimes you'll find some... Uh, a couple things like that where you messed up. I think that's the only one I messed up on. Yep, we're good. So, like, for this piece, um, I'm going to want to find a pillar piece that matches that. And this is what I'm going to do. I guess pillar doesn't exist here. It's actually in the World's Fair pack. Um, again, you can use whatever pieces you want uh, to find for this, but um, there it is, the Bavarian pillar. I don't know why it did come up, but it didn't. Um, so this very much easily matches those pieces here. I wanted to go back behind the wall, though, but just covering up this. Ah, there we go. And this is just like some extra detailing. You don't have to do this, but um, I just like my stuff to look a little bit better. Heck, I'll even put a vertical piece right here. Just for extra kicks. Just like so. There we go. And we can even... Oops. Copy this to the other side. If we so desire. That way we're nice and consistent on both ends. And there you have it. We have pretty much everything done except for the pillars now. Or the um, everything that we want to do here. So what we're going to want to do now is you can do whatever vertical pieces you want. Um, it really is up to you. Um, I'm going to use, though, just a wooden pillar. And this is going to be your supports that are holding the building up. So you can really kind of go wherever you want or find spaces uh, for this support structure. So it's nice and supported. We'll even go about right there. So I've got a good basis going on here. And you're going to want to put enough of these around your building to where your building looks nice and supported. And you can actually build these again wherever. So now we need to figure out where we're going to put these. So um, you can go in. This is what I do. I'll go in and kind of do the same thing. I'll line them up with all the, uh, the top pieces here. And you're going to see that there's going to be some that's going to be um, kind of blocking the way, which we will fix here in a moment. But I just copy all of them, and then I delete the ones that um, that are in the way or we don't need. That is usually what I do. And again, you can use whatever pillars you want. Um, you don't have to use these. So, for instance, I'm going to go through, delete the ones that are actually blocking the area. I can keep those. I'll just go down the line and say, hey, that's in the way. And we'll delete the ones that are actually like in the queue, in the spots that we don't need them in. Just like so, those are good. I'm going to delete the one just in front here. That one's okay. As for these guys, I want to make sure we're kind of open. I'll keep some there. Oh gosh, clicked on the wrong thing. Just like so. It's okay to have a couple in the way, like just standing in the way there. And then I think we're pretty much good right there. Yeah, because we don't want any in that spot. And uh, yeah, you can just decorate it the way you want as well. Um, lighting wise and everything like that, um, you can adjust. And then for like the op booth here, we're just going to add a little bit more. Uh, detail to the uh, the booth itself. You can do whatever kind of detail work that you want to do on these. Um, you can, uh, you, the, you really have all the freedom in the world because it's your 
station and you want to do it based off of kind of like whatever your theming is um, if you don't have any theming this is a pretty nice generic kind of theme um, so you can go with it or whatever you want to do all right so we have a little bit of an opening here sometimes I like to uh, either um, it's never a bad idea to even put like a door on your op booth uh, for this instance I kind of want to put a door in here and then you just got to be careful and find a certain door that you uh, that can work in here so sometimes it can be kind of hard to find one that kind of works because sometimes they're um, you're just gonna have to adjust it in there some might be too tall or too short so if we have this instance instance where we have a door you're it's a good idea to go ahead and make it double-sided like this so there's also a door on the other side just for that detail and as you can see I still have a lot of gaps and I'm going to go ahead and copy in just cover this up like so and now we have this where we just push this forward a little bit to where that's not showing Oh, it looks like it did it to our uh, our other door got other door piece got stuck in there. Oopsies. So we'll want to do that. Then we'll replace this. Or you can leave it open as well. It doesn't really matter. If you want to leave an open door, you can. And that's enclosed now which is great and then uh, I almost forgot to place some fencing here as well and you can kind of do where if, if you want to do it that way you can or if you want to so sometimes I'll cover up this by just using some some uh, pillar piece or some something like that in this area you can do whatever you want Because sometimes I don't like the sci-fi, futuristic uh, um, exits that it gives us. Sometimes it's like, that looks weird. Just do something in, in, uh, uh, in that general vicinity. So now you have that. That's beautiful. We have our um, station down. Now it's probably good to go in and create some lighting for this station. So... You can do whatever you want. If you want to use the in-game lights, absolutely no problem. Um, it just kind of depends on what kind of lighting you wanted to use. If you want to do, like, uh, lanterns, I like using these lanterns quite a bit. Um, well, you can do that. Um, so what I'll do is, for instance, I'll make a line of lanterns just kind of hanging um, from the, the top here. This actually lights up your station pretty well. And I'll put them, um, usually it's okay to put them on every other pillar. You don't have to put them on every single pillar, but every other pillar um, works pretty well. Every other piece here. Once you get all of them placed in here, say right here, then we can go ahead and select all of them. Hold down shift, of course, to select multiple pieces. And then we can go ahead and uh, place them throughout the station here so we got the entrance area exit and you don't have to put too many but you can put enough to light up the area now I'm gonna go ahead and deselect these two and then I'm gonna put another set of them right about here or so there you go and then you can turn it to nighttime to see exactly how dark or how much it lights it up for instance if that's good enough for you it's never a bad idea to say hey that's good but if you want a little bit extra lighting um you can do some hidden um area lights just try to match the color of your lanterns um or uh, search say if i want another 
or a certain light inside the op booth that's actually kind of white maybe like a light white on here we can do that by just uh, placing this underneath to where you can't see it and then you can actually add some um, different lights inside the op booth if you really wanted to but that kind of lights up the op booth a little bit and there you have it that is a beautiful station and then you can do whatever kind of lighting you want but overall that is what our station looks like and um, I hope you can create something comparable um, so and you can do other extra stuff if you want like sometimes I'll even put a fence up here um, just like this and then they have to walk in like this is part of the queue line and then I'll have it exit out here or something like that. Same with the uh, exit as well. So anyways, that is our beautiful station. I hope you guys learned something and this helps uh, you building your stations. I know a lot of people have issues trying to build their station for their parks and um, I will go ahead and upload this to the Steam Workshop if you want to try and use it. The only thing when you do that is you're going to have to um, kind of line it up with your uh, <clears throat> uh, coaster, so that's about it. So anyways, that is my generic coaster station, guys. Again, I hope it helps, and let me know in the comment section if you like how this looks, if you want, if it helped a lot, um, just let me know. I would love to hear your guys' um, feedback on what you think of this generic station. So I hope you guys get some use out of it. And um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for joining. Make sure you have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks and goodbye.